So then it turns out that he's been cheating. I don't know if I'm gonna bite him skin. Mm. <laughs> Maybe because I'm just being too silly today. Hello, members and everyone. Welcome to this edition of the Polyamorous Monogamous. I'm your host, Nikki Nibbles, and today our guest star is Derek Jackson. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm just playing. <laughs> so, I'm excited and goofy acting because I finally got some noodles. I was on a little quest for some noodles. Your girl wanted some noodles really bad. So I found this cute little place called, let me see. Now, I don't know how to say it. I think it's po Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm about to grab on it. to add some shrimp and chicken to this however I'm still on um, the little bet that I did with my daughter I told y'all about it I bet she bet me $50 that I could not be vegetarian for a week so I did it last week but I did it for five days and I talked to her and I was like oh girl I did it send me my $50 I completed it sent you your little pictures of my meals and everything I didn't cheat and she was like, a week is seven days, sweets. And I'm like, well, a week can be five days, five business days. Because <laughs> on day six, she added some salmon to her pasta. And she said I cheated. So I was like, no, 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 no. It was just a little misunderstanding. Okay, let's do it over. So now I'm going... Tuesday to next Tuesday. So here you have a delicious vegetarian bowl of ramen noodles with loaded veggies. I have some corn, some, um, I don't know what this little thing is. What are these called? Is this bok choy? I don't know. You know, the little square thing. Let me see. I'm like bok choy or something like that. It sounds tastes like a mushroom. I don't know. And then I have this little thing right here. I don't know what this is. Is this a radish? Let me see. Oh, that's fish. It tastes like fish. That's some kind of fish. I don't know. We're going to take that out. He put the fish in there. I don't want that. So... And we have the ramen noodles and the corn and peas. Yeah. So I have some uh, veggie broth. I'm going to pour that on first. And it's piping hot. I don't know how I'm going to. Wait a minute. Let me see. He got the little magic marker in it and everything. Let me. Okay. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna just peel that back like that, and then just pour. So. I'm gonna 
for. Oh, that smells delicious. Pour a little bit of that. And then I'm going to pour And then so on the side, I got some lemon pepper broth. But as you can see, I don't know why to use these little paper bowls. Because the paper, little paper bucket broke at the bottom. So I'm going to still open it the same way. And just pour it in. But it's, this is lemon pepper broth. Okay. That's enough. My mouth is watering. So then there was this little place called um, It's a Vibe, I think. This little place that sells um, healthy teas and shakes right next door. And I believe it's called It's a Vibe. It's no branding on the cup. Guys, you gotta have Brandon on your cup because I don't remember what the name of the place was. But it was the cutest little place. It's a new place. And this is a peach tea with uh, collagen and vitamin B and um, some other vitamins in it. But I'm going to check this out. Oh, and uh, aloe vera in it. So it's supposed to be good for your skin. You know, she's been having a breakout or two lately. I don't know what that's about. But I'm going to check out this tea. I can taste the peach, but she also tastes a little vitamin -y. It's a little vitamin -y. But, uh, I know it's good for me, so. It's only like two grams of sugar, which is not bad for a big cup of tea, so. I'm gonna drink a little bit of it. Okay, let's get into these ramen noodles. Let's get into these ramen noodles. I got a fork right here if these chopsticks don't act right because I'm hungry. This little paper bowl seems like it's okay. Oh. oh, okay, you gotta so the noodles is like in a block. Oh, oh wow, is that an egg? It's an egg in here, y'all. lit. I didn't know I had an egg in my soup. I'm trying to get pulled the noodles apart. Vegetable broth tastes a little earthy, but then the lemon, the pop of lemon tastes delectable. That's pretty good. Anyway, guys, y'all know Derek Jackson is the guy who built his brand and like his whole social media platform on like giving girls the tea on like how to, um, you know, have a healthy relationship with a man or with a partner, you know, and like he basically was given the inside scoop, you know, from a male perspective. Cool, cool, cool. 
the inside scoop from a male perspective um, about how to really like love a man and why men react to certain things the way they do and da 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 inside scoop inside scoop right as a monogamous man so then it turns out that he's been cheating so you know that she doesn't believe that we are really like monogamy is an unreasonable expectation that's my belief however it is a practice that you enter into on the front side of a relationship as with any agreement as you know you do your agreement about the finances about the you know you know romance part of it the you know, intimacy the sex the you know you 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 pretty much talk about all these things up front and you kind of make agreements little agreements so you have sex night you know some people have you know um date night some people have you know you you you, you you do these things for the good of the relationship so that it runs smoothly and everyone's on the same page, yada, yada, yada. You know, so monogamy and polyamory and such is quite the same way you enter into an agreement. And so Mr. Jackson uh, seemingly had this whole big monogamous platform and relationship and then so he was cheating, right? He was participating in all the things that he told us to look out for. And everyone's kind of flabbergasted about it because the whole point is, if you're so versed in relationship issues, then you probably should have your agreement set up to run smoothly throughout your relationship. One would think that, right? However... Jackson, you know, he pretty much um, did the polyamorous monogamous thing that lots of men do, you know? And so my thing is, why not discuss it initially and say, hey, bae, hey, bae, <laughs> I love you and you are enough. You really are. However, my appetite and my desires are such that I'm not blind to other women, you know? And I'm not, it, uh, you know, other women's beauty and softness and femininity and, you know, does not escape me. And so, I would like to partake in other feminine wiles at some point, you know? What do you think about that? Are you up for it? Would you like to join us? I'm gonna do it, <laughs> no matter what. I'm gonna do it no matter what. We should make it a lifestyle, you know? I just, I mean, you know, some sort of conversation like that has to be had so that women can have the option to confirm their agreements or deny it and simply not partake, you know? It, 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 it's when you do it in the shadows and you ruin our trust that we've worked so hard to build. Why do that? Why do that over a thing like sex, you know? already the whole point is in order for us to have optimal functionality and a healthy loving relationship there's gotta be trust I don't want to follow you to hell sir I want to follow you to the moon. I want to follow you over the moon. You know what I'm saying, King? So, the way we set up our relationship is the way we set it up. That's your job, sir. That's your job.
honesty. And trust. Honesty breeds trust. Okay. I don't know if I want my damn skin. Mm. <laughs> my bad. Oh, it's good. It's good. So I really want to try pho, pho, pho. I really want to try pho. I believe it's a different type of noodle, but like the same, it's the same, you know, scheme of things with the vegetables and the noodles and the broth, the yummy broth. But pho has the, um, I think, well, I guess you get all types of pho. So anyway, I'm going to try that. I got to find a pho place. Um, and I think that the difference, like this is ramen noodles and the pho is a different type of noodle, if I'm not mistaken. You can tell me what the difference between the ramen uh, soups and then the pho is, if you know, okay? Leave it in the comments. Anyway, friends, my phone keeps going off. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe because I'm just being too silly today. But I love you for watching. I didn't got full of these noodles. just wanted to know what you thought about Mr. Derek Jackson. I thought it was an interesting topic and I'm full. Um, she's getting a little salty for my taste, but I'll see you in the next video.